Hey guys, this is Streaming Rack War Veteran, and uh, I wanted to talk to you about this um, class that I went to. It's Citizens Preparedness Corps of well, Corps of New York State. It's basically about prepare, respond, recover. And you went to this two-hour class. Me and my sister did. That's a reflective script there. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that they gave us in the in this bag of survival crap. Um, some of it's good, and some of it's not. Uh, some of it was absolute garbage that I don't know how you could eat. There was, um, these food bars in here. And they were absolutely disgusting. There's, it, unless you were starving on the edge of starvation, there's no way anybody could actually eat that shit. Alright, we'll just pull some things out at a time here. Safety goggles. Because, you know, when you're uh, stranded or, you know, you need a you need your preparation bag, you're going to need safety goggles. That, that one, I think, is just fucking stupid. Let's see what else we got here. This one's kind of handy, actually. This one's a respiratory mask thing, just a paper one. It's good for dust and shit like that. This one I didn't understand that much. But duct tape, I guess you can fix lots of things with it. Hi, kitty kitty. Um, what else can grab in here? Alright, this is like a five gallon water bag or something like that. That one could come in handy if you needed it. Oh, let's see. <laughs> oh, that that's even funnier. I just noticed that. But, uh, some, what, like, welding gloves that are actually have a freaking hole in it already from them. Come on, are you serious? It's like there was a an error in their manufacturing process. <laughs> That's like rock hard right there. Yes, kitty, I know you're in heat. But I don't like female cats as much. <clears throat> a really old, crappy, 2D, 2D battery flashlight. Is that why I'm getting a shit signal? Yeah, probably. What was that? Oh, well. But, uh... Yeah, crappy plastic flash flashlight. From probably something back in the 90s. Um, what else we got here? Yeah, here's the, the batteries. Uh, two triple A's, two... Which are both rail vacs. And two D's. The two D's are for that. And they gave us a little AM FM radio with a pull up antenna. That one's okay. If it gets any kind of signal. Don't know how cheap it is. Emergency blankets. One of those thermal silver blankets. You know, like wrap it around yourself. It keeps you warmer easily. More easily. Uh, plastic drop cloth. One mil. I'm guessing that's one millimeter thick maybe i don't know all right what else we got in here all sorts of crap oh the glow stick i already popped <laughs> i would have better ones the 24 hour ones that you can get this one this one's a good idea in here actually it's in it's an okay kit um this is a, just a first aid kit i'll probably actually keep this in my car let's see what else here all right this one i tried Emergency purified drinking water. Now, these are actually good tasting. The food was absolute garbage, but these are actually really good. And the emergency water. I highly recommend recommend any prepper to get stuff like that. Um, I'm being raped with whistle. <laughs> no, it's a really loud whistle is all that is. What else? Oh, well, that's it. But the bag is okay, I guess. Some extra pockets. I never heard of the company Pro Pack, but that's who it's through. Um, not sponsored, by the way. ProPackUSA.com. There's their website if you ever want to check it out. It's a decent bag. I mean, it's nothing super spectacular. I'm on uh, Grand Theft Auto, if you can't tell. I just blasted some retard. Well, I figured I'd bring that to you. 
The bag smelled really funky. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, get this shit. With the, um, the snap stick here, the glow stick. It was already expired, like last year when they gave it to me. I mean, I could make a hell of a better preparation bag than this, which I might someday. Let's throw all this crap back in here. Oh, shitty ass gloves. I mean, goggles, really? There's no good food rations that came in it. I, I literally bit a corner off of one of them, and it was fucking nasty. I mean, I've had military food, and I could have... There's been a lot of really crappy military food, but I could, I ate it. I was able to eat it. That, there was no way in hell. Alright guys, I'm the Screaming Iraq War Veteran, and I figured I'd just uh, show you this thing that I got from this prep class. Now, well, if you like this video, please hit a thumbs up, and if you don't, you know, you can hit the thumbs down if you want. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.